Let's put ourselves for a minute in the position of the employer. If I go with hiring the MSc math graduate, a good person, what will I get? And what will I not get by hiring the M.Tech computer science graduate and also vice versa? Many of these industries are not per se technology industries, right? So I think if somebody has a B.Tech or an M.Tech in computer science, one of the things hopefully that they have learned and which they can apply is how to build and develop better computing systems. On the other side, if you have some adequate access to off-the-shelf platforms which people can use, and you are really more interested in, in applying insights into the information that you have collected and improving your kind of business in whatever way it can be more efficient, more profitable, whatever, then I think somebody who comes with a wider set of math skills is probably the correct person. We have all around us now because of uh, you know uh, electronic commerce, right? We have a huge logistics network of people, warehouses, deliveries, all this. So there are lots of things that need to be optimized. Even if it comes down to food, you know, Swiggy, Zomato. Now restaurants cannot rely on how many people walk in through the door, right? They have to anticipate how many people will order online to make sure how much of uh, different items to make. Even surprising things like entertainment, advertising, a lot of these things are now driven by, you know, analysis of how uh, customers will react. So a lot of things are tailored based on data. This is where I think most people who have a strong mathematics aptitude will find something or the other which will be of interest to them and where they can also play a, a very positive role.